from this presentation onwards we will discuss several properties of asymptotic notations and the first property that we are going to discuss in this lecture is the general property of asymptotic notations so let's get started and let's see what are the topics of this lecture the topic of this lecture is asymptotic notations general property in this lecture we will discuss the general property of asymptotic notations which we need to remember as it is going to be quite helpful in solving various problems related to asymptotic notations so let's get started and let's see what is that property the property is if fn is big o of gn then a into fn is also big o of gn where a is some constant if we say that gn is asymptotically bigger than fn then gn is also asymptotically bigger than a into fn where a is some constant so this means if the growth rate of function gn is more than the growth rate of function fn then the growth rate of gn will still be higher than the growth rate of fn when it is multiplied to a constant a in order to prove that this property is correct let's take one simple example and through that example we will try to prove that this property is true so here is the simple example let's say fn is 3n square plus 9 and gn is n square can we say fn is big o of gn first we will prove that fn is big o of gn and after this we will prove that a into fn is big o of gn we are assuming fn is 3n square plus 9 and gn is n square let's prove fn is big o of gn let's apply the definition of the big o notation according to the definition of big o notation fn is big o of gn if and only if fn is less than or equal to c into gn for all values of n where n is greater than or equal to n not and c and n not are constants so c is some constant and n not is also some constant c must be greater than 0 now let's assume some value of c we can assume some value of c according to the dominating term of fn the dominating term of this expression is 3n square 3n square will eventually surpass the constant 9 this is the dominating term n square is here multiplied with this constant 3 and in gn we have n square if we multiply gn by 4 let's say then this will become 4n square and 4n square is greater than 3n square it might be the possibility that after some point gn will surpass fn or in other words fn becomes less than or equal to c into gn so let's assume c as 4 now fn less than or equal to c into gn is equal to 3n square plus 9 less than or equal to 4n square now this time we will not form the table instead we will solve this inequality for n let's subtract 3n square from both the sides we will get 9 in the left hand side of the inequality and 4n square minus 3n square in the right hand side now 4n square minus 3n square is n square so we are getting 9 less than or equal to n square let's take square root on both sides so we will be left with n here and square root of 9 is plus minus 3 and as input n cannot be negative we will consider plus 3 so in the left hand side we are getting 3 and in the right hand side we are getting n so we are getting n greater than or equal to 3 this means for all n greater than or equal to 3 3 n square plus 9 is less than or equal to 4n square so this inequality is true for all n greater than or equal to 3 this means fn is big o of gn because fn is less than or equal to some constant time gn so fn is big o of gn is true if this is true then this must be true 
This means A into Fn must be equal to big O of Gn. Can we say this is true? Can we say A into Fn is big O of Gn? Let's find out. We know Fn is 3n square plus 9 and Gn is n square. And now let's assume A is 1000. Let's replace A by 1000, Fn by 3n square plus 9 and Gn by n square. So we will get 1000 into 3n square plus 9 and it is equal to big O of n square. 1000 into 3n square is 3000 n square and 1000 into 9 is 9000. Can we say n square is asymptotically bigger than 3000 n square plus 9000? Yes, this is true. Even though we multiplied 3n square plus 9 by this big constant 1000, this constant is not making any difference here. n square is still asymptotically bigger than 3000 n square plus 9000 because we can always assume some c greater than 3000 which will make c into gn bigger than this dominating term. We can take 3001 and 3001 n square is bigger than 3000 n square. After some point, C Gn will surpass Fn. So, constant multiplication does not make Fn bigger than Gn. Hence, A into Fn is indeed big O of Gn. So, this is true. So, with this, we proved that if Fn is big O of Gn, then A into Fn is also big O of Gn. Not only this, if Fn is omega of Gn, then A into Fn is also omega of Gn. Also, if Fn is theta of Gn, then A into Fn is also theta of Gn. You can prove these two properties on your own, although it is not needed because we know constant multiplication does not make much difference. So, with this, we understood the general property of asymptotic notations. And this means we are done with this lecture. Okay, friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I will see you in the next one.